Lions game. This is Miller. Miller running room right side. Lost the football. Picked up by the Patriots. Darrell Revis. I'm going to be honest with you, Greg. I was more I was more mesmerized with how high his shoe went in the air. His Watch shoe at the end went of this run. Flying. I didn't see the ball come out. I just saw his shoe go about 40 feet in the air. His shoe landed about 15 yards downfield. And once again, the Miami offense putting their defense in a tough spot. And we got a Steeler down. It appears that Nelson has lost his shoe. Yes. Uh, they're not stopping the game, though. Nelson should put the shoe back on. Nope. He chucks it <laughs> to the other side of the line of scrimmage. Hoyer. Hit about my parents, huh? No. <laughs> Definitely not. On first down, Smith across the 50. He's to the 40 yard line. Robert Smith, one man to beat. It's Connell Lake. Smith oh, into my. the end zone for the touchdown from 58 yards away. And there was that great cutback ability. And not, you know, guys, you, you don't teach a guy to, to make those moves, that cut back there or, or this cut here as he makes right here. You can't teach a guy that. You can't teach a guy with the great vision, but as you see, he loses the shoe and continues to run. Right there, one shoe, back away. You just don't teach a guy those moves. And he gives to Byers. Byers has the corner. He has the first down, and look out. He threw his shoe. He's running without a shoe with a touchdown. was all over. Well, Gary, I know we keep talking about Mike Tomzak's head, but this touchdown really does belong mostly to Tomzak, who put them in the right play, the right audible. And then, of course, Keith Byers' tremendous skills. You There he threw his shoe. It's, we talked about shoes. You saw the size 17 of Karowitz. Well, his size 8 or 9 is out there on the floor somewhere. But this is a Heisman Trophy run by Keith Byers. Petri on the kickoff. Brian Smith on the return. Smith. To midfield. Smith could go. And he will. Touchdown Jets. 90 yards. Oh my goodness, does he have another gear. Watch how watch the beautiful job he does. He works up inside. Now as he starts to cut across, he Hedibo does a he Hedibo does a great job out in front of him. He sets him up and nobody can close on him. And here comes the gear. There goes that. Now, now we've opened it up the full slot. And he did it with one shoe. All right, so now the Texans up 20 to 13, under three to go. It's third and four. Matt Shaw. Don't wow. do it. Don't do it. He did it. Third straight game with a pick six. Richard Sherman comes up with it. Who you said didn't touch the ball? This comes from a lot of study. How about this? Watch this. He loses his shoe. He is the shoeless Sherman. What did he study? That shot always throw a pick six in the game. <laughs> there were no flags, though, on Herschel's first running play, which was even more explosive. Here's the carry. And if he hadn't lost a shoe, it could well have been a debut touchdown. Again, fake into the line. Up top he goes. He hits Ward in stride. Hines will take it off at the 20. Tries to take the angle away. Ward dives for the pylon. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. What a play. He ran right out of his shoe. Great concentration. Here's Adrian Peterson on first down. Tripped up, but stays on his feet. Still going. Made something out of nothing. And did he did he throw a shoe? Someone it looked like almost like a shoe came off on this. But look at Bergstrom, 66, get out in front and help sideswipe Luke Keekley just enough that Keekley can't get up. See the shoe come off? Peterson throws a shoe and it went right to the face. And this one here, I just remember taking a few steps downfield and, and realizing that my, my shoe was off. And so uh, just trying to run as far as I can. Couldn't really cut right now because a little, uh, little hampered. A lot of times on a long run, it's not until after the play is over, then the crowd comes back in. It's the time to respond. Thank you, Heather. 
Watson trying to respond with a downfield throw in the traffic. It's a battle there as Mike Williams was well defended. Brings. He makes the catch at the two yard line. That's a, that's a tough catch. That's a great catch. And Mike Williams not only loses a shoe, but has such concentration. I thought he got his elbows under. That's a catch. Direct snap with Palmer at bottom of the screen as your receiver. And it is Kerwin Williams who ran this three times last week. And there he goes. Kerwin Williams. It's going to be a Cardinal touchdown. Well, I'm pretty sure that New Orleans Saints saw this last week. And he goes in without his shoe, Chris. What an amazing run by Kerwin Williams. 49-yard dash, and for Kerwin Williams, reaching the end zone to give Arizona the early lead. Well, you know it's this. Just going to fake to David Johnson. He's, he's keeping these. He's not even giving David Johnson a chance. This is his one opportunity to touch the football. Watch this. Shoe comes off. Doesn't matter. I'm going to go 64 touchdown. In 2013, now Mahomes tries to make it pay off quickly with a pass that is caught and was held down. Was he touched? And they're going to say that he was. The one on the field is the runner, was down by contact. First down. It's down to 10 to the 28. And here's Elliott. Ezekiel Elliott lost his shoe. He's still hoofing. <laughs> Ezekiel Elliott down at the 10 yard line. Feet don't fail me now. I will say this, my guess is that Secretariat, Seabiscuit, Man of War, if they ever threw a shoe, they weren't slowing down either. Neither is Ezekiel Elliott. Waffelsberger on again. Maybe on Bell, the cut. Bell breaks a tackle. Bell trying to go all the way. Maybe on Bell, touchdown Steelers. What a run by Bell. 38 yards. Tremendous vision by Bell. Patience as he gets to the second layer. And now watch him make the moves down the field. That one's on Joe Hayden. And now screen can't get him down. And all that waits is a somersault into the end zone. Again, a lot of pressure. Flacco lets it go. Mason came back, threw a shoe, and got a touchdown. Just take a look at the single safety right in the middle of the field. Flacco looks him off and throws the ball on Mason's back shoulder. And he dominates Jason Allen for an easy touchdown. What a beautiful thrown ball. Great location. And Mason knew exactly what Flacco was going to do. And the most important part of that, John, was the trust that Joe Flacco had that Derek Mason was going to turn around. Look at Jeff George. Look where he is when he throws the ball. He's in the end zone. He doesn't really step into the throw. <laughs> Tommy, this ball goes almost 60 yards in the air. Moss catches it, then whoop, whoop, whoop. Well, let me get that. Let me go over here. A 60-yard pickup sets up a Jake Reed touchdown pass, 14-7 Vikes. Keaton escapes some pressure. Chucky Keaton will run with it. And Keaton gets out of bounds for the first down at the 28-yard line. He lost his shoe back at the 45. First of all, a great bull rush by Jacoby Hale, and he almost makes the play. Keaton loses his shoe, but look how he keeps himself together, gets the first down. It is so awkward to run with a sock and a cleat. You can't imagine. That's their first of the half. Utah State has called a timeout, but this is what we talked about. Chucky Keaton hurting you, not with the play that was called by the Aggies, but by the play that he turns it into, and that is an example of it. Castle's pass on the outside, caught by Patterson, first down, and... Marcus, put your shoe on! Put it on! Jeez. I can't finish with these gloves. <laughs>